<laughs> How big of a deal is it for a country to win a lion? Well, if it's your thousandth, you probably go, eh, and stick it on the shelf somewhere. But if it's your first one, it's a big one. And nobody ever forgets their first. Especially if Philip Thomas, THE Philip Thomas himself, travels 6,000 miles to hand it to your head of state. In 2012, Ecuador won its first lion. A real milestone in a country that hasn't won any worldwide recognition. Not a single Nobel Prize, no Oscar, no World Cup, <laughs> not even a Miss Universe. There was plenty of Ecuadorian news coverage. But the really great thing happened the year after. Suddenly, other companies realized that Ecuador has a place on the world stage. We went from 1 to 36 Ecuadorian delegates at Khan and had a 300% increase in submissions to the festival. Also, for the first time in history, Ecuador participated in the Young Lions competition. And the first lion, well, that first lion quickly became a pride. We discovered that there's more to winning a lion, well, than just winning a lion. Deciding what to do with it is almost as important. So we decided to share the lion with all Ecuadorians. Like a national treasure, we donated it to the Presidency Public Museum, located at the Presidential Palace itself. The golden statue stands there 24-7 as a reminder that tells all of Ecuador, we can do it. So winning a lion can be a really big thing. In fact, it can change a whole country.